Hi friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to part two of my Halloween decorating. In case you missed part one or you're interested in finding out where I got these items, definitely check it out. Now we're getting to the fun part, the actual decorating. I am transforming my house into creepy scenes from Hocus Pocus. No, it's not going to actually look like the set but it's definitely going to take me back into one of my favorite Halloween movies. And what better time than now with Hocus Pocus 2 finally coming out. I have a lot to do, so let's get started. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see part 3 or any other future video. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just taking down some fall decor that I had up on my built-ins and I am leaving some things up there like the very top on the left hand side is dedicated to my dad who passed away this year. Um, I am going to keep his picture there, but I am going to make it a little fun as well because he was a very, very fun guy. Uh, also the basket on the left hand side has diapers and wipes for Ridley and of course I need to keep it functional for me so I'm going to leave that there as well and just decorate around it. Okay, so for the top shelf there, I am going to leave a picture of my dad there, but I've decided to put the so-called black flame candle up there next to him. My dad, if you knew him, you know he's a little bit of a rule bender, but also the life of the party. And if I were asked out of everyone I know who would like that black flame candle, it would 100% have been my dad for sure. So I put that right there next to his picture. just adding all of these different items that I purchased and I'm just placing them all over those built-ins um, just to make them kind of make sense I've got you know skull heads those are little skull hands and if you saw they do not smell pleasant I was making this funny face while trying to smell them I have some little witch boots which oh were not in part one I got those just here recently from CVS and when I went they were buy one get one half off so I think they were $11 regularly however I talked myself out of getting any more because I already had plenty and I just bought the one I was very proud of myself 
Um, but like I said, if you don't know or want to know where I got these items, definitely check out part one of this video series. It's in the Halloween playlist, so you'll know where I got everything. So I have a little bit more left to do in my living room, which I'll either show in this video or part three. Um, but I loved how everything turned out so far. And if you missed part one, I did explain that this is really my first year decorating for Halloween and especially the first year in this new home of ours. So I don't have a whole lot of decorations just yet. I'm hoping to add to it each year, but I thought that this was a great start. So now I'm in my dining area and I am making this dining area a grave ugh, graveyard scene. Sorry about that. And if you noticed from part one, I did hot glue those styrofoam pieces together and one has already come apart, but that's okay because it didn't, I didn't really need it to be together like I thought I would. So I just sat it there and then I placed the gate part that I got from Walmart there to make it look like it's a fence. And now I'm just hanging up some foam tombstones with some double-sided tape. It's actually the foam tape, so it's a little thicker and stronger.
just going to add some of this faux moss that I got at Walmart um, just on top of the styrofoam to hide it and make it look like grass. Now this was very, very messy. So I ended up spraying it with some hairspray, um, but I don't even know if I'll keep this till the next year just because it was incredibly messy. I had to go and vacuum it. And even since filming this, I've probably vacuumed over there like three or four times. Um, but I think it had an amazing effect and it looked so real. So I really like it. <laughs> Okay, so now on to my dining room table. I have this little black tree. It does have a little bit of a glimmer and glitter shine on it. And I just wanted to make it look like a miniature graveyard scene. However, the little mini foam tombstones weren't going to be in on time. So hopefully I'll have those by next year. So all I did this year was just put out the tree and it was battery powered. Um, it lit up little, you know, little orange lights. And then I also got these metal houses that look really creepy from, uh, from Target for $10. And I lit those up and put the moss all around it. And I still think it turned out great even without the tombstones. So now I'm sure that you've probably seen these all over Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, probably everywhere. I got these little bats from Amazon for really cheap and I just wanted to give it a little creepy feel in my kitchen. So I just added them. Now they had a matte side and they had a shiny side. So I put the double sided tape that was provided on the shiny side so that the matte side would show. I didn't want them to be too shiny. However, since then a lot of them have fallen off and you'll see that at the end of the video. So I'll have to put those up in part three, like put them all back up again. <laughs>
Okay, so you could probably tell this was my very first time doing this. The shape didn't turn out the way I was really wanting it to. I almost wish I would have started with like the bigger ones on the bottom and then as I moved up, got to the smaller ones to make them look like they were kind of flying away. Um, but like I said before, most of them fell, so maybe I'll try to do that again. However, it did give a very creepy look and I think my mom said that was her favorite decoration so far. So now I'm trying to hang up some of this creepy cloth and I didn't realize there is absolutely no way I could reach the top. So you'll see here in a little bit, um, I did get my husband to help me, but he doesn't like to be filmed, which is fine with me, um, but we did get it all hung up by the end of the video. Okay, so I'm going to show you all what all we got done um, with my husband's help, I should say. Um, we did end up hanging up a sign up above the graveyard, which I ordered off of Amazon, and it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Now, next year, I would love one of those moon lamps that I could plug in and it show a full moon above there um, but I knew that was going to be out of my budget and then you also see here I have the creepy cloth up that I just hung with some command strips and then the three witches hats I actually have eight hats and I was wanting to hang up more um, but it was getting really late by the time that we had hung all of these up so we just did three and my mom said that's perfect because there's three Sanderson sisters so I thought okay that'll work and then you see we have the suspended um broom there <clears throat> and we just suspended those from the uh pendant lights above my kitchen island which i thought was awesome i think it looks great there and then you can see in the very back that's all of them uh, all of the bats that are missing by now um, I'll have to try something different. Now I am showing you this hutch, not because I decorated it, but because of my idea for next year, I would love to make this a potion bar with all different like sizes of cork bottles and things like that. And then I did add, I think a couple of extra things that I found in the boxes. Oh yes. The crows. I found the pack of six crows, <coughs> excuse me, six crows. And so I just added a little bit um, to the built-ins with those. So I'm just giving you another peep there. Okay, so I just had to add on the pillowcases already, which is the last thing you'll probably see here in this video. I love the way they turned out, and I was so happy to put them on there, but you can't have Hocus Pocus without one other thing, which is Thackeray Binks. I went ahead and ordered him from Amazon, and he came in that day that I was putting the pillowcases on, so I thought he was perfect, and he has actually already scared a couple of people because he looks so real. He even feels very real, and I love him. My kids love him, so he fits perfectly. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it, and stay tuned for part three.